In this lesson, you will learn how to graph a linear equation using the x and y intercepts. Let's start by finding the intercepts. The x-intercept is the point where the graph crosses the x-axis. At this point, the value of y is 0. So, set y to 0 and solve for x. 2 times 0 is 0, leaving us with x equals 4. Therefore, the x-intercept is the point 4, 0. This is where the line crosses the x-axis. The y-intercept is the point where the graph crosses the y-axis. At this point, the value of x is 0. So, set x to 0 and solve for y. This simplifies to negative 2 y equals 4, right? Next, divide both sides by negative 2 to isolate y. These cancel out, and 4 divided by negative 2 equals negative 2. Therefore, the y-intercept is the point 0, comma, negative 2. This is where the line crosses the y-axis. Now that we have our intercepts, the next step is to plot them on the coordinate plane. Plot the x-intercept at 4, comma, 0. Plot the y-intercept at 0, comma, negative 2. Finally, draw a line through these points. This is the graph of the equation. Now, please pause the video and try this one. First, find the intercepts. Remember, the x-intercept occurs when y is 0. So, set y to 0 and solve for x. This simplifies to 5x equals 15. If we divide both sides by 5, we find that x equals 3, right? So, the x-intercept is 3, 0. The y-intercept occurs when x is 0, right? So, set x to 0 and solve for y. This simplifies to 3y equals 15. Dividing both sides by 3, you find that y equals 5. So, the y-intercept is 0, 5. Now, plot the intercepts on the coordinate plane. Plot the x-intercept at 3, 0. Plot the y-intercept at 0, 5. Finally, draw a line through these points. By the way, this is the most straightforward method to graph linear equations in standard form, just like this example and the previous one. But let's also graph equations in slope-intercept form. We will follow the same steps. First, find the intercepts. To find the x-intercept, set y to 0 and solve for x. Add 6 to both sides, and you find that 3 halves x equals 6. Next, multiply both sides by 2 thirds. On the right side, the 2s and the 3s cancel out, leaving just x. On the left side, 6 and 3 reduces to 2, and 2 times 2 is 4, right? So, the x-intercept is 4, 0. To find the y-intercept, set x to 0 and solve for y. This simplifies to y equals negative 6, right? So the y-intercept is 0, comma, negative 6. Now, plot the intercepts on the coordinate plane. If you need a refresher on plotting points, check the link in the description. Finally, draw a line through these points. The next example is a bit tricky, so stay with me. When you set y to 0 and solve for x, you find that the x-intercept is the point 0, comma, 0. Similarly, when you set x to 0 and solve for y, you find that the y-intercept is also 0, 0. Notice that both intercepts are the same, so we only have one point. However, to graph a line, we need two points. So, let's find another point. We can do this by choosing any value for x and solving for y. Let's choose x equals 1. Substitute 1 for x into the equation and solve for y. This equals negative 4, right? Therefore, our second point is 1, negative 4. Now plot the intercept and the second point. Finally, draw a line through them. By the way, the most straightforward method to graph linear equations in slope-intercept form, like this example and the previous one, is by using the slope and y-intercepts. Check out the link in the description. Give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing.